Straight into it, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Look, regardless of people here for a bit, you know, the house of David, you know what I'm saying, still going to war with the house of Saul. Ain't nothing new up under the sun, man. We're going to hop right into it. You see the brothers, you know what I'm saying, GMS Pittsburgh, you know, teaching at the spot that they've been teaching at, you know what I'm saying, for years now. And then you got, you know what I'm saying, the carnality of ISUPK, you know, the goon squad, you know, being very carnal, like like this is a gang, you know, the, like they some street thugs, which, which that's all they are, street thugs, you know what I'm saying, with garments all black on, you know what I'm saying, bad men wear black last time I heard, you know what I'm saying. We're going to hop right into the scriptures. A, still, a, a war is going on outside, all right? You got these different camp hoppers don't know who's teaching the truth because you're doing all this camp hopping. If you stick with one particular group, you know what I'm saying? Look, which is Great Millstone. We got the 100% truth according to the Bible. That's who you need to stick with with all that, you know what I'm saying? Hopscotching, you know what I'm saying? Camp hopping and all that. Look, look, man. You're going to end up being deceived. Which you probably already being deceived. Cause the guy in the Bible said what? The deceived and the deceiver are his. But, but, but nonetheless, let's hop into some scriptures and I'm gonna play some more of this video. Look, ISUPK was straight carnal. And to be carnally minded, it's enmity where you have by Shemel. Shut this hop right into it, man. First Samuel. Second Samuel chapter three. Verse one. Now there was long war between the house of Saul. And the house of David. And look, and that's what you see going on right here. It's a war going on. It's all spiritual. It's all spiritual, man. You know? The weapons of our war are not carnal. You know? This war is spiritual. Principalities. Demons. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what we want to get right now. That's what we want against right now. Demons, man. And you see demons all over these guys in the background. ISUBK, man. All right? So once again, 2 Samuel, chapter 3, verse 1. Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Great millstone, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, we represent the house of David. Okay? 
And through the spirit, you know what I'm saying, I S U P K and these other, you know what I'm saying, false prophets, you know what I'm saying, they represent the house of Saul, man. Okay? It says, but the look, but David, the house of David, waxed stronger and stronger, man. That's why you see great millstone growing at an alarming rate. And the only thing we're doing is bringing out the truth. And these other camps are mad now, okay? And look, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And this is this is a weak move. Coming to the spot, you know what I'm saying? See, brother didn't bring out the scripture, you know what I'm saying? Preach not upon another man's foundation. Through the spirit of your house, by Shemel Shai, the Pittsburgh brothers, you know what I'm saying? Already laid the groundwork, man. They've been there for a while. The scripture say, prophesy not upon another man's foundation. You know? Build not upon another man's foundation. But what they're doing? They're doing the same thing that they always did, man. Okay, but then they, they want us to come together with them. But the scriptures say, look, can two walk together unless they be agreed? No. No, look, two can't walk together unless they be agreed, man. We don't agree with what they teach, man. They teach they teach nonsense. But, but look, they think coming to a corner, you know what I'm saying, taking over a block, well, that's not going to stop the words of your how about Shema was shot. You ain't stopping nothing, brother, just going to move to another spot. And look, and that's exactly what they did. But see, you you mocking the true messengers of your how about Shema was shot. And look, look, you know that ain't going to work. This is Acts chapter 5. Let's start at verse um 38. And I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Only thing the men of the Lord want to do is just teach the word. But then these guys, you know what I'm saying, I was already out there waiting on their arguments to come up, man. The brother said in the video, you know what I'm saying, before they even got there, as soon as they was pulling up, walking up to the set, they seen ISUPK standing there waiting on them to come up, man. Can you see that, that banner that ISUPK be using in the background ain't even set up yet. They was waiting for the brothers to come there. But what the scriptures say? They think they can stop the program of your how about Shimei They think they can stop the truth come, from coming out? They already took a 501c3 charter. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically going into the government stopping you from teaching the truth, man. Okay? You pay it off. You tax exempt, man. Okay? And then once again, they went all black. Witches were all black. And then they teach with shades. You know? But what the scriptures say? Acts chapter 5, verse 38. And I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. So if what the men of the Lord, aka great millstone, are doing, if it's of, you no know saying us, then it's, look, it's gonna come to naught. You ain't gotta worry about trying to move us off of corners or you no know saying different getting us arrested or whatever you want to do. If if what we're doing is set up, you no know saying by men, it's gonna come to naught, right? Didn't that ain't that what the scriptures just said? But, but look, you know we got to read on though, right? But and there's a there's a big but in that now. Verse thirty nine, Acts chapter five, verse thirty nine. But if it be of your how by Hashem Yahushua, if what we're doing is ordained by the God of the Bible, us being out there on the highways and byways, preaching the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible, if it's ordained and set up through the Spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, guess what? Ye cannot overthrow it. Least happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Look, that's exactly what these guys are doing. You know, look, they fighting against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Look, they, look, they don't even know it. Look, they don't know it. Look, look, but they go know it though. Before it's all said and done, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. All you false prophets are going to know that a prophet has been among you. It's, it's a war going on outside. Evil men start to wax worse and worse. You know, whatever kind of spirit, you know what I'm saying, you was before you even found out the truth. Look, man, if you have but Shimei, I was shot. If, the, if you ain't got that recalcable dodge, you know what I'm saying, look, you're going to go right back to being, that, that nigga going to come right out of you, man. He just dormant for a while. He's going to come right back. You, look, they ain't never cast off the old man anyway. Let's get the book of Psalms. Look, look, this is what this is what the Heavenly Father said about touching his men. He said, refrain from these men and let them alone. One thing we want to do is teach the truth. They want to rap. They want to party. And look, they ain't bringing out no script. Only thing they kept saying in that video was Christ, 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 Christ. You know what I'm saying? God, God, God. What about Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah? What about that? Psalm chapter 105 and 15. I started 14. 
He suffered no man to do them wrong. Meaning the prophets, right? Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm, man. And do my prophets no harm. Well, what is these dudes trying to do? They've always been carnal. Ever since I've been in the truth, ISUBK has known for being carnal. And the apostles always told them, told us about them. They was always carnal, man. Yeah, and look, and they waxing worse and worse, man. Waxing worse and worse. The scriptures say, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. But what they trying to do? They threatening the brothers. Do something. Do something. Do something. We ain't going nowhere. And look, look, slandering, lying. You know, false accusing. Brothers ain't been convicted of none of that nonsense they call us, man. But look, it is what it is because every idle word that men shall speak, you got to give account thereof in the day of judgment. And I want to get that right quick. See, Matthew, the 12th chapter. I'm going to put some more of the video. I just want to hit some scriptures right quick. This is this is what it's supposed to be. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. See, Matthew, chapter 12. Verse 36, and what the men of the Lord do. Only thing the brothers kept doing, they was in the spirit, is bring out the truth. Let's play some more of that video right quick. And we're going to hear some more scriptures. This is exactly what we're supposed to do. When we encounter uh, goons like this and goblins, and I'm saying goons and goblins. Hold on, they said that that's their corner, you know what I'm saying? We're pursuing to Job, you know what I'm saying? 924, which the brothers quoted in this, in that video right there. The, um, the GMS brothers from Pittsburgh, Job 924, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And you said, this is your corner. The, no, they said, this is General Hanna's corner. Like he's lawyer, how was shy, man? Job 924 says the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. You know, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Y'all act like y'all the true judges of the earth. But, but you're not. You're trying to cover up who the real judges are. Through the spirit of how by Shimei was shot. But we, we, look, we been seeing it. We been seeing it clear. You know? We been seeing it clear. You're not fooling us. The scriptures say, look, even Lord Yahweh I said, my sheep shall hear my voice. So even though you're doing all this screaming and hollering with microphones and all that, look, the true men of the Lord, look, look, they're going to over, they ain't, we, we ignoring that. You got all this screaming and hollering in the background. We still hear the men of the Lord still preaching clearly, man. Clearly. We drown out all that nonsense in the back. But let's play some more. Thou should not bear false witness against thy neighbor, right? Right. So what they doing bearing false witness? And I got to get some too. Since the brother said that, I'm, I'm going to come right back to that. Let's get this right quick. Let's get this right quick. Look, look. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Let's get the Galatians right quick. Galatians chapter 4. Let's get that right quick. And I'm going to come right back. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? That's basically what the brother just said. You know what I'm saying? Which he quoted another scripture. You know? But this is really, you know what I'm saying? This, look, same thing. Same thing. We teach the 100% truth according to the Bible. So guess what? Galatians chapter 4 verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? These people hate us because we teach the truth according to the Bible. Right? And I get the scripture the brother was getting to bring out. Okay, they deal with emotions, man. We bring out the scriptures, man. Okay. Yeah, matter of fact, let me let me get it right quick. I get it right quick. And I'm gonna come right back. This is um Amos. Amos five. Amos five verse ten. Amos 5 verse 10. Look, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. We correct our people with the words of Yahweh, but Shemel shut. And that's why they hate us, man. You know? That's why these guys are out there. Because we rebuking our people. We correcting our people with the words of the Bible, man. I know, ain't that what the scriptures command us to do? Ain't that what the scriptures command us to do? 
Once again, Amos chapter 5 verse 10, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So long as you're teaching the truth and you rebuking people, most definitely they're going to try to get away from you. They're going to try to abhor you. You know? Let's get this though. Why it's on my mind. Something's on my mind. Something's on my mind. Let's get this. Second Timothy. Chapter 4. Every idle word though. Remember that though. I'm going to go back to that. Second Timothy chapter 4. Verse 2. Preach the word. What word? The Bible. Preach the Bible. Preach your how will buy Hashem Yahweh shot. Be instant in season, out of season. And like the brothers went into from Pittsburgh, the GMS Pittsburgh brothers, look, they've been out there all winter. Where have ISUPK been? You know, where, where have these other alphabet groups been? The men of Great Millstone, you got videos of them with snow on their beard. You got videos of them getting drenched in the rain. You got videos of them out there with big giant jackets because it's freezing cold out there. You got videos of them with sweat rags and water bottles in a hot temperature heat. Instant in season, out of season. That's what the scriptures command us to do. Teach this word regardless of the weather. But now it's breaking hot. It's getting summertime. Now you see these guys in the background. What was they at? You know what I'm saying? The whole winter. Them cold Pittsburgh's winters. What was they at then? They won't know where to be found, man. You know? So and, and so they ain't nothing but a bunch of hypocrites, man. A bunch of actors. And the guy of the Bible say he hate hypocrites. The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, man. Okay? The triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. So you ain't gonna really see these guys too much longer, man. It's all for show. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove. You know? Well that to correct thy people. They hate him, they rebuke it in the gate. Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering. For the time will cut look, we got to put up with this nonsense, man. And so the Lord come. We got to put up with you no know saying these goons coming to the camps, you know, with this nonsense. Screaming, hollering. When it look, the scriptures didn't tell us the the scriptures didn't command us to go outside with a microphone. The scriptures told us what? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voice like trumpets. You're supposed to lift up your voice like trumpets, right? And, and these guys got this, um, the spirit of a woman on them anyway. ISUPK, they got the spirit of a female on them, man. That's all that is. That's all. This is what a female do. Come interrupt you while you outside talking with fellas. When you come in the house, what you doing out here? Come take care of your baby. The spirit of a woman is on them, man. Let's go. For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. See, two thirds of our people they'll go for that for that um for for a gang like this. That's all they are, a gang and all black. The ones in the back, not the great millstone Pittsburgh brothers, not these two brothers. You know what I'm saying, and the brother holding the camera, but these goons right here in the back, man. Our people, you know what I'm saying, love guys like this. You know what I'm saying, they got that militant look. You know, they got that um. What's them guys in the 60s and the 70s? I think it was the 70s. Um, the Black Panthers look. They got that Rakonda, Rakonda look. Know what I'm saying? You know. They got that Rakonda look. Know what I'm saying? So our people go for that nonsense, forgiveness, and acts and all that. Nah. Just bring the word out. Know what I'm saying? Sackcloth. Just like this. We ain't got to have no fancy garments. And all that teaches the, the, the woman is God. But the black women. The black women. And all that. You know? And all the other nonsense, man. Worshipping a man instead of worshipping Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh. This is General Yohanna's um um block. Like this, like this um, like this a drug dealer. Like you know what I'm saying, like they straight up drug dealers. It says they should turn their ears away from hearing the truth. They should turn their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, man. And, that, and that's all the um as you BK teach. Their, their leader, you know what I'm saying, teaches that you can have anal sex with your woman. You know, you can, you can do it in the butt. No saying they got homosexuals, no saying in their camp. They say, the, they, they, um, they bring them on in and transform them back to normal citizens. Come on, man. Come on now. These you got guys bugged out, but the scriptures tell you evil men shall wax worse and worse. But let's go back to St. Matthew, so, cause I want to bring that out right quick. This is St. Matthew chapter 12. And then I'm going to play a little bit more of the video, then I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to throw my two cents up in there through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shah. The God of the Bible is going to judge these guys, man. Yeah, things may seem right 
It says, it says, um, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. St. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. Because you heard them in the background saying these guys are rapists, you know what I'm saying? they pedophiles, they this, that, and the third. And look, the God of the Bible is going to judge you for it every idle word, you know? To be carnally, we're going to get that next too. But I say it to you, 36, St. Matthew 12, 36, but I say it to you. That every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Because pursuant to um, Hebrews 10, 30 and 31, the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, said he's going to judge his people. You know, vengeance belongeth unto him. The Lord just told us to just wait. Keep teaching the word. Just wait. Just keep teaching the word. Watch what I do to these goons. Watch what I do to these mockers and scoffers, man. You know, stripes. You know what I'm saying? And whips for the backs of fools, man. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. That's why you got to watch what you say. Be more ready to hear than to get the sacrifices of fools, man. Okay? Through, like the elder Ariala said, you know what I'm saying, from Dallas. Look, look, they hurt, man. These guys were hurt, man. Right. This is Mark chapter 10, verse 19. Yeah. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Yeah. Do not They're trying to be flashy, be as arm bed, you know what I'm saying? Look, um, still um, rocking the star Molek, you know what I'm saying? These guys trying to be, um, try, trying to be seen of a man, really? Do not kill. Yeah. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Right. The Lord not. Oh yeah, then the majority of them don't even know what they're involved in, but like the brother, you know what I'm saying, read in that scripture, do not bear false witness. They call us rapists, they call us pedophiles, they call us every name upon the sun. Well, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Every idle word, men shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, because that's exactly what's coming. Judgment, man. Right. There you go, this is coming out of Yahushua's mouth. That's right. right. They, they bear false witness against us. That's right. They bear false witness, so look, going right into what I just read. Say Matthew 12, 36, verse 37. By thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, man. Okay? And these guys, I'm saying, the guys in um, ISUPK are very carnal, man. They're carnal, man. Okay? And then a spiritual Bible. Let's get a scripture on being carnal. To be carnally minded is enmity with your how by Shemiah Let's get that right quick. Let's see. Let's get that right quick. Romans chapter, I, I'm going to just click on it right quick. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, man. And what these guys in the background show was a spirit of carnality, man. Okay? Real carnal, not spiritual at all. You know? Matter of fact, let's get that word right quick, carnal. Let's get that right quick, carnal. Let's get the definition. Because it says, to be carnally minded is death, man. Okay? Carnal. Related, related to, it's an adjective related to physical. We're just going to hit some points. Fleshly. Look at this. Fleshly. You know, ain't that spiritual bottle, man? Fleshly. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say, um, as natural brute beasts. So these guys, you know what I'm saying, is, is coming in, in an animal type spirit, man. You know? Lewd. Lewd. You know what I'm saying? But, but going right back to that word, fleshly. One more time. Romans chapter 8, verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death. To be fleshly is death. They feeding the flesh more than they feeding the spirit. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the, verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh For it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can it be, man. Okay? So then, they that are in the flesh, look, cannot please Yahweh, man. You know? They that are, that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. So these guys, you know what I'm saying? The guy the Bible is angry with these fools in the background. These uh, goons. That's what I'm saying. If we was really rapists, why we ain't locked up? We ain't locked up. We we'll ain't locked up. And you can't find no video where we say, hey, go and rape somebody. Right. Come, come. 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 Come,
We ain't telling nobody to go rape nobody. That's gonna get them locked up. But but look, look, let me play some more of this video. Hey, hey, cause, cause, why they stride with us? Cause they caught them, man. Ain't nothing spiritual about them. They caught them. Let me get a couple more scriptures and then I'm gonna wrap it up, man. You know, just a lesson through the spirit you have by Shimei Shai. Look, hey, the two walk together unless they be in agree. The Lord said, those that are my enemy, that didn't want me to rule over them, they want General Yohanna to rule over them. They don't want Lord Yahweh Shai to rule over them. You know? Because what, who, what name you keep hearing in the background? Just General Honor's block. Come upon a General Honor. He's the only one with the truth. They ain't saying nothing about Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Nothing at all, man. Let's get this, though. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. And it reads, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, what they're doing is evil, wicked, right? But the Lord didn't make a move on them. Therefore, the heart, meaning the mind, of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil in hundred times, and their days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Shai, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Two-thirds and these heathens. Neither shall he prolong his days, which as which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And these guys in the background, they don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They came right to the spot that the brothers been preaching and teaching that, doing the groundwork, putting in that work, Let, look, planted the seed and everything out there, man. You know, for years, man, they just roll up all of a sudden. That's wicked, man. That's evil. But the God of the Bible ain't judged them yet for it, so that, look, they're going to continue to do that now. They're going to continue to go to other camps and start their madness. But the God of the Bible says it shall not go well with two-thirds of our people. Because they fear not, you have but Shemiel Shai. You know? The God of the Bible got something for all you wicked Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And guess what it is? Death, man. Death. Death, man. Proverbs 15. Let's get this, Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 10. And it reads, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that hateth reproof shall die, man. He that hateth reproof shall die, man. You hate to be corrected. And these guys in the back, they sure enough hate to be corrected. They coming up, they, they look, they speaking blasphemy. You know? To what John the Baptist won't in the truth. Things of that nature, man. Teacher, look, you can do it in the butt. That, that, that's what they teach you. But look, ain't no other Israelite groups getting on them. Wait, look, look, where you at? Where you at, man? Let's go back to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Let's get that right quick. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Hold on. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. And it reads... But evil men and seducers, these ain't nothing but a bunch of witches. That's why they got them all black. You see them in the background with all black? Let's play a little bit more. Since I'm already here, Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together and said they be a great king? Right. Oh. right. I can't agree with these guys, man. You think we can agree with the spirit of carnality? Absolutely not. Hey, and we've been here all winter and ain't seen these guys. Uh -huh. We've been here all winter and ain't seen these guys. And now it warm up a little bit. And look at the guy with the armband, putting on the armbands. He don't know where the hell he at. He don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday, man. He don't know what the hell he doing. He just putting on armbands. He don't know what he did, man. Look at that man. Look, lost. He lost in the sauce. He don't know what's going on. Evil men shall wax worse and worse. Evil men. Look, let me read it again. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men shall, but evil men and seducers, man. A bunch of witches. 
shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, man. So these guys are deceivers and they're being deceived uh, at the same time, man. And they're deceiving others. But the God, the Bible, got everything that's in his hand, man. The Lord said the deceive and the deceiver are his, man. Okay? The deceive and the deceiver are his. But I'm, I'm going to read on, though. But the scriptures are telling us what? But continue in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. We know who taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, not ISUPK, man. ISUPK didn't teach us nothing but, but how to be carnal, man. They taught us how not to be, man. Okay? They taught us how not to be. They, they look, they mocking the messengers of Yahweh by Shemir of Shabbat. Look, that heat is coming. So look, 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 stripes for the back of scorners, man. That's all it is. The Lord said, no, so he's going to destroy all evildoers, man. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. I mean, I got so many scriptures, you know what I'm saying, that I can bring out right about now. I ain't going to make it too long. I ain't going to make it too long. What is it, Job 8? Let's get this right quick. Job chapter 8, verse 20. Behold, Yahweh by Hashem Shai will not cast away a perfect man. Neither will he help the evildoers, man. You know? But evil men shall wax worse and worse. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. The God of the Bible says he's not going to help you evildoers out, man. All hell about to break loose. Coronavirus everywhere. Plagues everywhere. Destruction everywhere. And the only thing you can do is come up and, and scream out, y'all rapists, y'all pedophiles, and all this other nonsense. The men of the Lord are supposed to prophesy. This is the job of the men of the Lord. What the brothers out there doing? Prophesying. I get it right quick. This is Jeremiah. Call them. They, look, they don't even go into prophecy anyway, man. You guys don't go into prophecy. The only true men of the Lord that go into prophecy, you know what I'm saying, is Great Millstone. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and pestilence. And that's exactly what we do. The guys in the background, they don't even, they ain't prophesied. They ain't prophesying, they don't even prophesy, period, man. You know, they can't even tell you what day it is, man. Let alone what prophecy mean or going to prophecy. Come on now. Yo, you see what I mean? But see, they want to be seen. Right. See, that's, that's how a lot of these tales operate. They want to be seen by men. See? They want to be seen by men. Right. You hear that guy? It's our corner. It's our corner. Well, last time I read, you know what I'm saying? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Let's get that right quick. Let's get Job right quick. Let's see, let's see what Job said. Job gonna tell you who, exactly who's ruling the earth right about now. They said, they said it's their corner, right? We're gonna, we're gonna show you what the, what the scripture said. Look, this is Job chapter 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So look. They, they, they let everybody know that they're the wicked. Let, let's see if you're going to say it again. You know what I'm saying? Look at the guy in the background, all black with the shades on. Bad men wear black. Look, once again, these ain't nothing but a bunch of witches. It says evil men and seducers. They're trying to cast spells upon the nation of Israel. And two thirds are going to be taken by guys like this. This militant looking in background shades. Can't even see the window to their eyes. He don't look. This guy right here with the headband on, he don't know where the hell he at. This, that guy right there, him, they don't, none of them guys don't know what the hell they doing, man. They don't know definite destruction is coming. But they said it's their block. But let's read what the scripture said. Once again, Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And look, they said that was their block. You know what I'm saying? Job just said the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So, you, so you're the wicked. You know? And actions speak louder than words, man. You know? 
actions speak louder than you. You letting everybody know that you are the wicked. But look, death is going to come soon, come though. Let's get this though. This is, um, let's see what I want. Second Chronicles. This is Second Chronicles, chapter 36. And I'm, and I'm about to wrap it up. Through. Through. They're through, man. The, script, the scriptures is cut. This is fire. The word that we speak is fire. And it's starting to burn these people up, man. This is um Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. They made fun of us. They ridiculed us. You know what I'm saying? And despised his words. They hated the words that we brung out, right? We're going, we're going to the good, the bad. You know what I'm saying? We're going to the nastiness of the scriptures. All that, man. Topics that people can't bear to touch on, you know what I'm saying? We go into it, starting off with the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, right? And misuse his prophets. Look, this, this is a form of them misusing the prophets, man. Coming up, threatening them. This is our part. Y'all got to get out trying to run the brothers off the block. Come on, man. Look, we'll just go to another spot, you know. What? Look, dust off our feet, you know what I'm saying? And go to another spot and bring the word out, man. They, they preach for contention, man. So they misused the prophets, try to fight them, try to get them locked up. You know what I'm saying? Put some of the men of the Lord to death. These are the same spirits coming back. The men of the spirit of the prophets, the true prophets are, are back. You know what I'm saying? And the spirit of the false prophets are back, man. And they're going to war. They're at war spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes they get physical. It says, until the, look, they misused the prophets. They despised the words of the prophets. They mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad, right? Until the wrath of the Lord, the wrath, not the love, but the wrath, and that's what's coming. The wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Till there was no remedy, and that's what's coming, man. Okay? The wrath of the Lord is going to come upon these carnal dudes in the back, man. I-S-U-B-K and all you guys, man. You know? There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. Let's get that. Let's get that. In the book of Proverbs, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. And the one in 14. Proverbs 14. Let's see. Bear with me, Israel. Look, look it's going to come to an end soon, come. We don't even worry about it. Let's see. 19. Bear, bear with me. Oh, look, 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 look. I read this right quick. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 11. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle, meaning the house of the upright, shall flourish. And that's what you see. And there it was right there. And that's what you see going on. The house of David is flourishing. And the, but the house of Saul, you know what I'm saying, aka the house of the wicked, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. It's being overthrown, man. You know? But let's read on, though. Verse 12, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. Okay? So you have Bashimel Shah been showing you who he's dealing with, man. Okay? And I want to bring out one more and then I'm going to wrap it up, man. The house of, uh, house of David, you know what I'm saying, is at war with the house of Saul, man. You know? So I want to, I want to get one more. This is St. Matthew. You know, look, instead of messing with the man of the Lord, look, you better off just going somewhere and killing yourself. St. Matthew chapter 18. Verse 6. Red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, right? Who they eagerly call Jesus, right? Not Christ. Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones, and these are the little ones, these are some of the little ones, these two brothers right here, and then the brother behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Great Millstone Pittsburgh, right? It says, But whoso shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone, I mean a massive, you know what I'm saying, stone, brick, you know what I'm saying, with a hole in the middle. You know? Matter of fact, I get a picture of it. Let's get a picture of the millstone. Let's go here. Google Images. Bear with me. Instead of messing with the men of the Lord, you'd be better off doing this. See, see this millstone? This is a millstone right here. You know? A big giant massive brick. Look at this. Look at that. 
Look at that. See that? What the scripture say? But whosoever shall offend one of the of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him to take a millstone, which is this picture right here. Take a millstone, and and what lawyer how was shot? What should he do with the millstone, lawyer how was shot? Oh look, oh, look, I, I wonder what should he do with the great millstone? It were better. For him to take a millstone were hung about his neck and that he would drown in the depths of the sea, man. Okay? So he'd be better off taking a millstone. You know what I'm saying? Would you see a picture of it? Put it around your neck and dive into the sea, man, and kill yourself before you mess with the man of the Lord. That's your best bet. Woe unto the world because of offenses, destruction. For it must needs be that offenses come. Yeah, people gonna get people gonna get offended at the words of your how about Shemiah was shy. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh, man. So if you get offended by the words of your how about Shemiah was shy and it burns you up and it cuts you, that's on you. You get offended, look, offenses gonna come. But woe meaning destruction unto that man of whom the defenses come from. The offenses come from. Take this millstone, put it around your neck. Dive into the sea, you look, you would have been better off. Be coming up, you know what I'm saying? Um, mocking the men of the Lord, slandering the men of the Lord. Cause look, every idle word that men shall speak, they got to give a count thereof in the day of judgment. And now I got, I got one more. I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up, man. I'm going to play a little bit more of the video and then I'm going to wrap it up. In no fact. Got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. Let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. I got one more and I'm going to wrap it up, man. Okay. Let's see. Lying lips. Got one more scripture and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up. Pretty much lying lips is but for a moment, man. Let's see. If I can't find I'm gonna just wrap it up. I'm trying to look for it though. But the scriptures basically say lying lips is but for a moment. Matter of fact, it's in the apocrypha, ain't it? Is it in the Apocrypha? Let's see. Well, basically, man, hey, look, these dudes are slanderers. You know what I'm saying? They're mockers, they scoffers, they're false prophets, and the Lord's going to deal with it. Let's play a little bit more of the video, then I'm going to wrap it up. I got, I got it. Let's get this right quick. This is Proverbs chapter 12. This is Proverbs chapter 12. Bear with me. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 19. And it reads, The lips 
the, the lip of truth shall be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. So you ain't gonna, you know, you ain't gonna see these guys too much longer. <laughs> these guys in the back, I asked you, BK, those guys in the back. Those guys right there in the black back there, you know what I'm saying? I asked you, BK, look, look, lying lips shall be put to silence, man. It's, it's only but for a moment. But the lips of truth, the men that speaking the truth according to the Bible, shall be established forever, man. The house of David versus the house of Saul, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regards to people here for a bit. The house of David versus the house of Saul. You already know who's going to win through the Spirit. Shalom.